Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ask Project, talking all things football and a few things I've seen on the internet. So roll the intro. Before we go, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure make sure you subscribe. I'm making a massive push on YouTube. Favorite piece of platform that we like to produce content on allows us to be ourselves. And happy birthday, Lukey, for yesterday. Thank you. How old are you? Twenty nine. Still single. Yes. Oh, shit, babe. What's up? Hit him up. Hit him up if you can. <laughs> right, straight into it then. Uh, Kieran Foran in the manly kit yesterday. He's looking fit too. That shot of him, like the physique, is looking good. Yeah, obviously, like. Fozzie and Manny just suits, and, and and when he went to Parramatta and went to the Warriors, went to the Bulldogs, it just always kind of looked like a little bit weird, eh? And even when Manly used to play in those Marvel jerseys, and I don't know, he just suits Manly. He suits that style of football, and I'm pumped to see him back. And the photo that sort of surfaced was of him and Cherry Evans, and people forget how good these two were together. From 2011 to 2015, they were the best halves combination. They were young, but they were the best seven and six in the comp. Did they have good players around them? Yes, but you still need to run a team they those good players still need to get the ball somehow and Fozzie and Chiz were the guys and now they're back together and Des has as their coach and that's the combination that they want to come with it's super fucking exciting but from a technical standpoint Fozzie will start at six and on the talk very football related here so uh, they'll play from a left post which is a six four split so when I say six four split there's 10, 10 players in the defensive line, uh, two markers, one fullback. That's 13 players on the field. So when I say six floor, that means uh, when they're at the post, six are going to be on that side, four. And that's where Fozzie's at his best. He's a great four-on-four four player. He's been one of the best at four-on-fours four for a long, long time. And the way he plays is he's fast over the ad line. He gets past the markers. He gets straight at his B defender, and he just runs a short long. So that means the center will be outside his center, and the back row will be inside his center. And so they'll do that 6-4 split. He'll be over the ad line. If he gets the read, he'll pick the right pass most times. And the great thing about Fozzie, he's fucking tough. And then you look at the other side of the football, the ball's going to go to Jake Travojevic. He's going to have Marty Tapel outside of him. Cherry Evans out the back of him. And then out the back of that, fucking Tommy Turbo. So the great thing about Manly, and it's always been the case with them since 94, 95, 96, uh, Cliffy Lyons, Steve Menzies, all these types of players that have transitioned into the Stewart brothers, Chucky Watmo, they've never been scared to throw the football around. Cliffy Lyons is one of the most naturally gifted footballers to ever play the game. And that culture extends all the way to now. And if you look at pure footballers, you look at someone like a Cody Walker compared to a guy like Cooper Cronk, uh, when I say footballer, the game, he can see the game quite naturally. Things come to him where a Cooper Cronk style player, he's more like, he's got to be meticulous with his preparation. He's got to be studying. He likes to play in a certain manner. Manly have got four fucking natural footballers right now. They've got Kieran Foran, they've got Daly Cherry Evans, they've got, and both the Trebojevic brothers as well. So, uh, you just got to keep him healthy. If you can get Tommy healthy, if you can get Kieran healthy, if you can get a bit of rhythm, Manly going to be a really, really good side. So um, I'm a fan of Manly. I'm a fan of Manly. One of my best memories is going to watch Para and Manly at Bank um, at actual Para Stadium, sitting behind the post and just watching like them running at the line and the speed that they're like hitting it on the outside and stuff. It's like it was mad. Yeah, Fozzie's got one pace. He he flies over the ad line. He passes fast. He, Best thing about Fozzie is fucking tough. He'll take a hit for the boys any day of the week, and those are the types of players you love to play with. And I know, I know, scopes. If you get scope talking about Fozzie, you fucking start pulling himself off in <laughs> that little Pornhub intro. Hey, he went hard in the comments yesterday. Shout out to scope. Uh, Joshy Mansour signs with South. Be your good physiques. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a great signing for Souths. Obviously, they've probably got the best backline in the. Have they got the best backline in the comp? Someone, someone name a better backline in the comp than, uh, but I like it. I like the move there. Obviously, with Corey Allen moving, probably allowed that for Saucy to come back. And he's actually a junior from Souths, which a lot of people didn't realize. And um, Souths actually didn't even really want him uh, after he came out of 20s. And he was a really good 20s player. He used to play fullback, um, played in a GF against all the Warriors boys and stuff. So uh, he's carved out a really great career. He's a New South Wales origin player. He's a test match player. Kind of got fucked over from Penrith, but I think us as fans and us as we just got to realize f- football is a business players use clubs clubs use players it's just the way the 
It's just the way it's going right now, and we got to all understand that. And uh, I was disheartening to hear the way that they handled the situation. I reached out to Saucy last night, and he said he's going to jump on a podcast when he's ready. So that'll be an interesting uh, conversation. But I'm pumped he's there. And let's talk a bit of football as well. Gag guy's got to go to centre. And the, you look at Origin gags and the way he plays at Origin is crazy. But if you look at if you look at the way that uh, South Sydney plays, so they'll go to a far right post and they'll go seven block, block, block out the back. And they do that really, really well. And they sh- run their shape towards Cody Walker and that side as well. But whenever Dane Gag guys played well in his whole career, when he's played outside Cherry Evans and Munster, just two natural footballers that just go, fuck, here's early ball, do your thing. When he was at Newcastle and Jared Mullen was just zinging him the ball, he was at his best. So I've never met a centre that didn't like early ball. And one of my coaches used to say that, the better your centre, the quicker you get him the ball. And you can still run your, your beautiful shape out the left and stuff, but just give Gag some clean ball and let him do his thing. So uh, Saucy there as well. One of, the, one, of the, one of the better wingers in the comp, so exciting times for selves. Hectic Cheese. Got a bit of stuck into a Kit Kat <laughs> with a bit of peanut butter. How good. Shout out Cheese, one of the great characters of the game. The sport, rugby league needs characters. And if you think of a movie, imagine a movie if everyone's the same. No one really sticks out in any way, shape or form. But I love Cheese. The best thing about him, he's himself. But yeah, uh, their training looks pretty hard. I don't think I've seen Harry Grant awake in Instagram yet. Okay, they're all living together at the moment, it looks yeah. like. Four in the, that's a kennel. Yeah, fucking know. If that's a little kitty's kennel, isn't it? Yeah, and after... Um uh, Skipper in the press yesterday uh, Scope's question Who would you least like to date your sister? He said Cooper Johns Oh really? Yeah He said he sort of come out of his shell yeah. Maybe hanging out with Sandor a little bit too much That little confidence booster Ooh I like that I like that Nah yeah Little um, white hickey mutters Hectic cheese Just dipping into a Kit Kat and peanut butter Would you like that? I don't like know if Kit Kat chunkies are my favourite. Yeah, they're my favourite, but straight into a peanut butter would be good. I've never, nah. I, like the protein bars we've got in the cupboard there, one of them's peanut butter. Yeah. They're still awful. It's the other ones. He, he had the full tub too. He was just going. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. Like, it was like a carrot into beetroot dip. He's gone for that techie. So shout out Cheese. You're my yeah. guy. And still in Melbourne, Nico Hines um, had that really cool video floating around social media. I think it was from Thanks Collective, mm. um, opening up on everything that he's been through. I love seeing stories like this. Obviously, it's sad to watch, but I'm grateful that players like Nico Hines are opening up and showing the other side of them and showing that football ain't always this beautiful thing. And everyone's got their own problems in life. And um, I'm great he shared his story because through that story, he'll be able to help someone else. And if he even helps one person... Man, it's all been worth it. And I know Nico Hines, when um, when I was at Manly, I got injured and Baz told me to go coach the 20s and he was the 5'8 in the 20s at the time. And really great kid, really great kid uh, super down to earth, really nice guy. Bit of a glamour too, eh? Surfer and that. Yeah. You get a bit done over in the Central Coast. But uh, thanks for sharing that story, Nico. I'm sure a lot of people got a lot out of it. And shout out to Thanks Collective for putting that piece of content together. It was very well put together. So uh, shout out to those two. Um, that's a wrap on it for today so make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're hearing me on the podcast make sure you share it see you guys later